Welcome to Shendra's Engineering Tutorials. It's something about electrostatic deflection of a CRO, cathode ray oscilloscope, and making use of uh, uh, in designing purpose. We need an important def uh, derivation. I'll help you in that. I wanted to help you in deriving an important expression. Right? So, considering the side view of a side view of a CRT cathode ray tube, we have an arrangement like this one. Important components of a CRT. We have a back-to-back -back connected anodes like this one. It may be pre-accelerating anode, focusing anode, and accelerating anode. Maintaining it, uh, these anodes are maintained at uh, different potentials. These two may be uh, in same potential, and this may be at different potential. The main objective of arranging like this is to create a electronic lens. In the sense, uh, this will help any electron emerging from any direction by the time it emerges away from the accelerating anode all the electrons will be traveling in a straight line in a beam in a beam of line and uh, uh, we are not concerned about this one for the derivation part we are concerned about the voltage which is connected to the accelerating anode and it's given as v a anode voltage accelerating anode voltage the electron is moving so what energy does a moving particle consist it possesses a kinetic energy ke kinetic energy and uh, from here itself in this discussion we can write the equation for kinetic energy in terms of uh, va anode voltage now this is responsible for providing the required amount of acceleration to the electron uh, with a, such an uh, acceleration that it strikes the fluorescent screen and can be able to uh, give out a visible light. So what amount of kinetic energy it possesses? It's given as Q into VA. You may be questioning what's Q? It's the charge of the electron and VA is the accelerating anode which is give, this, the, given to this anode. Right? On the other hand, uh, what is the general expression for kinetic energy? It's half mv square. general expression for kinetic energy right so from this which we have q v a and moving ahead more precisely guys don't get confused with this v and this v it's a velocity and it's a voltage right so go like a small notation in this velocity v not x that velocity of an electron in a crt of a cro so from this one we will be having v not x whole square will be equal to 2QVA upon M. So a very important expression that has to be plugged in in some ongoing expression. Now the electrons will be traveling in a perfect beam after it emerges away from the accelerating anode. And uh, these, this electron beam will be made to pass through a pair of deflecting plates mounted like this. Uh, vertically, uh, horizontally mounted pair of plates known as a deflecting plates right so the beam will be entering made to pass through this uh, deflecting plates and once and a voltage will be given to this one this voltage uh, v d deflecting voltage and it will be positive and negative on this side once the beam enters the deflecting plate area it no more travels in a straight line Previously, it's traveling in next direction. As soon as it enters into the plate area, it experiences a force in y direction also. So it takes a parabolic path like this one, like this. And soon after leaving this one, once again, it travels in a straight line, right? For the discussion, for the uh, for to evaluate the equation for electrostatic deflection, we don't need all that. We can stick with this one. So please make a note. Now the beam will be traveling in a parabolic path as soon as it enters into the deflecting plate area like this. It continues in a parabolic path up to the plate area and soon after it emerges away from the plate area it travels in a straight line and then strikes the fluorescent screen in the CRO. Right? Let this distance be this one this distance be D capital D. Okay. Some notation some notations comes across different textbooks following different notation let that distance be d and uh, a question is my question is which straight line is that from here even this is a straight line even that is a straight line which straight line 
it emerges in a straight line in such a way that when this straight line is projected backwards here when this projected backwards acting like a tangent to this curve it cuts exactly at the center of the plates which is this point which is at L meters from the screen here this is the point to be remembered L meters don't get confused capital uppercase L capital L meters what is that point when this straight line is projected backwards acting like a tangent to this parabola it cuts exactly at the center of the plates it may be crooked don't mind please right uh, that point which is at L meters from the screen and uh, this when the electron beam enters into this deflecting plates area it experiences a force why because this will be positive and this will be negative and attraction force repulsion force something it ex experiences a force which is given by f force f is equal to how much of amount of force it experiences it's a charge again q into vd by d this is the amount of the force experienced by an each electron in the beam while when entering into the deflecting area deflecting plate area and what is this vd over here that voltage which is given to the deflecting plate and q the charge of electron once again what is this small d the separation between the plates right make sure and now this is nothing but electric field intensity vd by d right and according to newton second law what is f f will be equal to ma ma which can be written as Still, then now this comes, this can be written in terms of Newton's second law. F is equal to Ma, which is equal to Q, Vd upon D as it is. And from this, which we have acceleration A is equal to Q, Vd by D into M. What is this Q over here? The Q being the charge of the electron and what is M here? The mass of an electron, Vd is the voltage given to the deflecting plates and uh, d separation bit separation between the plates not the length of the plates but it's a separation between the plates and uh, another important equation to be considered for our expression to be uh, more clear and more easier it's like uh, what is the expression for velocity it's given by velocity is given by it's given by displacement by time right so from which uh, the factor time can be written as time is equal to displacement by velocity what amount of displacement is made by the beam inside the plate area it's this much it's from this is the amount of deflection we have to talk about right and approximately to show for us to be more clear it's uh, drawn bigger but it, which is approximately this length is approximately equal to the plate length approximately equal to right so this can be what amount of displacement it is L meters small l meters displacement and uh, what velocity we are talking about what velocity can you see on the board it's nothing but v naught x this is the velocity which we are talking about not time wherever we come across uh, time t we have to plug in with uh, l this one is a small l okay it's not capital small l upon v naught x the velocity coming back to this one and uh, guys can you see it's a parabola it's a now up to this point it's a parabola and it's a straight line so we have to divide this into two parts like uh, let it be projected on over here or let this be this part this part be d1 and let this part be d2 and uh, we are in search of this amount of deflection the amount of deflection we are in search of is this one which have to be evaluated in terms of all these parameter vd there is some interlink okay so from this one the amount of deflection this one will be d dash will be equal to what d1 plus d2 this is the amount of deflection which we are in search of making use of all these equations we have to divide we have to deduce that expression now uh, what about this one it's a parabola you might have seen in your previous grades how to uh, write the equation for a parabola it's in y direction so what we have is here a separation over here it's a uh, y equal to you might have uh, come across this equation in your previous grades y equal to ut plus half a t square right so for the parabola this is the equation 
okay so let this be displacement be d1 so in the sense this every equation will be equal to d1 which is equal to uh, u is the initial velocity in this expression so uh, initial velocity of the electron being zero this can be neglected and we'll be left with half a t square guys this will become zero you behave the initial velocity will be zero okay so d1 will be left with uh, this one this displacement we have projected over here which is equal to d1 right and uh, we what to do with the acceleration and uh, time t so nothing like uh, it's irrelevant to our discussion what we're talking about so converting this making use of these equations what so plugging in the same can be plugged in so what will be d1 d1 will be equal to half as it is a is from here it's a q bd by d into m into uh, yeah i previously derived this one so this will be uh, t square it's for completely t square so it will be whole square that uh, l square upon v naught x whole square okay so we have an expression for this also here you can plug in so that it will be easy for us on the other hand hey guys while projecting this backward and uh, drawing a line like this can we have a theta over here right from that which will be uh, opposite by adjacent what is that here i'm writing over here this is uh, now tan theta will be from that expression tan theta will be opposite by d2 d2 upon uh, this one d2 upon this this one it will be a d okay from this one we need to evaluate d2 which is equal to d tan theta now this will be the expression for d2 evaluating tan theta will be helping us to evaluate d2 and uh, combining d1 and d2 will have the expression for d dash which we are in search of d dash right so how to evaluate for tan theta tan theta could be evaluated making use of the velocity components in y direction so how to write that one tan theta tan theta will be v y upon v naught x okay so changing the pen, pen changing the pen for convenience tan theta how to evaluate for v y v y can be evaluated making use of a, a standard a basic equation for velocity it's a velocity in y direction how to write that one for uh, u plus a t initial velocity acceleration and time and uh, initial velocity of the electron beam electrons are zero so this would be v of uh, y is equal to a t simply a t so how this acceleration and time related to all these parameters no we cannot go ahead with this one this has to be substituted with something come back come back here here all these parameters right so v y would be our v y would be what is that acceleration with this one what is that q the charge of the electron into v d y what's that a d the separation between the plates d and m being the mass of the electron and uh, this t what should be substituted in place of t this one small l small l upon v naught x this is for v the velocity component in y direction so substituting over here that gives out tan theta right so how to write for tan theta it's a tan theta equal to the whole thing entire equation into in the sense uh, q v d by d into m into l upon v naught x whole square right so we have v naught x already we have for tan theta and uh, this gets multiplied with this one and finally that is the expression so what will be bringing this and putting over here what do we have d2 d 2 will be equal to d into the entire expression q charge of electron v d into is that a capital l or a small l we don't have a capital l even till now in the final deduction that comes into the picture no capital no uppercase l we did we didn't see this l 
in the, in any derivation till now right keep that in mind don't don't shout at me <laughs> so it's l small l lowercase l and for uh, d m into v naught x whole square it's a whole square over here this is our expression for d2 and this for d1 now combining this we will have the final expression for the deflection which we are in search of amount of deflection these are the expressions for uh, d1 and d2 we are in search of d dash remember the picture was here i erased for my convenience with d1 and uh, here it was d2 and the combining leads d dash and the combination will give us the amount of deflection which we are in search of uh, i have already derived this and put it over here for convenience right so what will be our d dash red color please make a note d dash will be equal to what guys something can be taken out as common from both the terms here what is that uh, this fraction as it is qvd qvd can be taken out l also can be taken out q here q more precisely writing very clearly okay q v d is taken out l also can be taken out small l lowercase l right length of the plate not this not the um, distance between the plate to the screen and what else d m d also m also can be taken and v not x also can be taken x whole square also can be taken as con common right so what will be left over here guys uh, l came out so we'll be having with the l half of l plus d okay this is small l half of l is left over and uh, here so guys can you make out if what it is it was d and uh, this is half of l and that half of l plus d that is capital l if you remember the picture go back to the previous picture so d dash will be equal to uh, now this entire thing it will be capital l now capital l meters has come into the picture okay so q as it is q v d and the small l and d m mass of the electron and v not x can be plugged with this one so what it is 2 q v a upon m so something gets cancelled over here it's a m gets cancelled and q gets cancelled and what else yeah it is so final our expression for it is l l v d by 2 d v a yeah my final expression for the deflection d what is this l length of the plate and what is this l the length between screen to the center of the plates vd deflecting voltage to d separation between the plates and va accelerating anode voltage so this is my final expression for the electrostatic deflection please make a note and 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 it's not over i'm not yet done we have to define we have to go for a very important definition sensitivity sensitivity s is defined as the deflection produced by the beam for a unit deflecting voltage that is d by d by v d deflection produced by the beam when a one volt of voltage is given to the deflecting plates so this gets reduced to s is equal to this gets cancelled that's it l l upon 2 d v guys expression for electrostatic deflection sensitivity you may be asked to derive this one and uh, from here you can derive the expression for sensitivity hope you understood this one support me with your valuable share and subscription if you find it useful thank you so much stay home stay safe and more precisely keep smiling bye